Hey guys, welcome to my house again. And uh, I'm really happy to see that you enjoy my little storytelling. Uh, telling you about the bananas, the story behind that, how and why um, a lot of boats don't like bananas on their boats. And uh, the story about goats, why there's goats along the islands. Got some other stories too I want to talk to you about. But uh, I want to tell you about uh, a trip I made many, many years ago. I want to say it was like 1985. I uh, went to Africa with uh, Tom McIntyre, uh, a great outdoor rider, specializes in hunting, but he goes fishing. I fished with him in Mexico in the lakes. I fished with him um, in Africa. I fished with him Wyoming down uh, the lower Platte River, I think it's called. We were on a hunt and blast trip where he was hunting and then we'd float down the river, do some fishing. And that was pretty cool, fish for uh, brown trout and rainbow trout. And we saw a lot of beavers, a lot of antelope, deer. That was a really cool trip. But um, I got to go to Africa with Tom back in like 1985. Um, I wasn't on TV yet. I wasn't riding for anybody yet. I just had a love for the outdoors. And uh, Tom's a great, great rider, but I guess he doesn't take great pictures. So um, I got the opportunity to travel with him on a bunch of his articles for Sports of Field magazine back then. And like I said, I've been with him to Wyoming, been with him to Mexico, went with him to Texas, and I got to go with him 1985 to Mexico, um, to Africa. And we went to um, Zimbabwe. And that was kind of a weird trip, a weird time in the world to be traveling to Africa and just the things that we experienced and stuff then. Um, but it was a great trip. But um, the first day we were there, I went fishing in the river. I took a rod and reel with me because I wanted to try to catch a tiger fish. And uh, the first cast I made, um, it was kind of shocking. Cast my line out in the Zambezi River. I've never seen this happen before, but my lure hit the water and a fish didn't jump up or boil, but some ears popped up. And they were ears of a hippo. And right after the ears came a big head and a big open mouth. And it wasn't all that far away from me, but it was surprising because I'd never ever seen a live hippo in the wild before. And uh, right after that, a couple minutes later, Tom comes walking up behind me with a high power rifle and he figured I might have a little trouble. So he came to back me up while I was fishing a little bit. And I didn't understand about all the crocodiles and the hippos and the dangers along the riverbanks, but I, I quickly learned. And uh, Tom has always been a good friend and uh, got me started. And right after that trip, I started writing for Western After News and doing um, pictures and stuff for them. And that all led to today, 30 years later on television. But um, Tom McIntyre is a professional writer great outdoor writer, great hunter, and uh, like I said, he helped me get started in the whole outdoor thing and taught me some of the basics on writing. I took writing in college, but I learned more from Tom when he would critique my articles that sent into Western Outdoor News, and uh, it's been fun. Now, I know you enjoy my stories, but if you want to read some really great stories, say stories about Africa, Tom has a brand new book out, and this is it. August in Africa and I'm even in it. There's a story about the trip that I went with them back in 1985 where we had elephants charge us. Yes, we had elephants charge us several times and um, it was pretty intimidating. We had one run through a tree to get to us and uh, a little spooky. And Tom writes about it in the book. But he has lots of great other stories in the book that I know you'll enjoy. And uh, he also talks about tiger fishing. and. The world record, according to Tom's book, and I haven't checked it since then, is 35 pounds. So a 35 pound tiger fish with all those teeth in a river would be pretty scary. But if you want a good read, pick up Tom's book. Again, it's called August in Africa. You can find it at Barnes & Noble on Amazon. And um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try to get answered for you. Maybe Tom will answer them for you too. All right. Well, that's today's little video blog. Just wanted to tell you if you really enjoy these stories that I tell you from time to time and you want to hear some better stories or some great stories about Africa, check out Tom's book. All right, thanks, guys. 
I gotta get ready to get on a boat here soon, even for a tuna trip. So thanks again for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube and go out and pick up Tom's book. You won't be disappointed. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks again. Bye everybody.